Husky Walleye Bass. Okay, here we go. Woo! Hey guys, Big John here. Hey guys, Big John here. Yeah guys, uh, today I got the iTroll system uh, for my Honda kicker motor. It's a 9.9 uh, 2008 Honda kicker. Uh, I got it on my Delta 188T and uh, today guys there's not too many videos out there for eye troll on a Honda kicker actually I couldn't even find one so I got the eye troll I got the kicker motor let's read the instructions and try and uh, try and make a video for you on how to do it let's open this together so yeah it comes in like a, a pizza box uh, and guys, first before I say anything, I gotta really thank my dad because um, I he has an American address and I wanted to have it sent there. And he said, "Well, you have a birthday coming up, so let me get it for you." So he picked up my eye troll system on boat. Thank you, Dad. Love you. It's gonna be awesome. Let's hope I install it right. So okay, uh, he opened the box, and of course, it was in here a lot neater. Uh, than it is right now. I took a lot of the packing out and everything already. Uh, so you got your controller, all your wiring harnesses. Um, and yeah, let's get started on installing this bad boy. All your instructions. And guys, the, the kit for the Honda is called the H1 kit. Just so you know. Every uh, every outboard has its own little uh, bracket, and uh, I troll accommodates them all. But you gotta let them know which one that you have. So here we go. Here's the instructions. First thing it says: uh, make sure your motor's not running. Well, we all know it's not running right now. And let's remove the cowl from the motor. On the Honda, it's pretty simple. One little clip in the back. Pick her up. There we go. Apparently my gasket wants to come off with it there, but that's okay. So the cowling is off and you can see the motor. Step two uh, is for only power tilt and trim motors only. So this is not power tilt uh, or uh, trim. So uh, we're gonna go to step three, which is tiller motors only. But it wants me to remove uh, bolt A uh, with a 10 millimeter wrench. So let's get a 10 millimeter wrench, guys, and, and take that off. Believe it or not, we're off to a terrible start, guys. I went to go look for my 10 millimeter socket, or I'm sorry, my 10 millimeter wrench, like the book calls for. Couldn't find it anywhere in my toolbox, but anyways, good thing Honda's got a little uh, tool kit with their motors and what's it got in it 10 millimeter wrench okay before I go any further guys I want to stuff some stuff down here in the cowling to kind of prevent if <laughs> I drop a bolt I don't want it to go well that ain't gonna work is it well we'll work on that side I just don't want a bolt to go down in the cowling here Okay, and I'm just gonna get that out. Okay, I got that out. See that? Now it says if my motor does not have this post here, I wouldn't need a spacer kit, but since it does, I need a little spacer. The H1 kit has a spacer kit, and that's gonna build it up for the servo bracket, so. Okay guys, you can see I got the servo bracket, I got the spacer, I got a washer, and the bolt. So let's do this without dropping any of this in the motor. This is critical, man. Guys, I'm gonna do an extra step. I'm gonna I'm gonna remove this because it's really in the way. And I I really want that bolt to go in straight, so I'm just gonna hit that. See if this will come out. There we go. Just gonna just gonna take this right off for now. There we go. 
Okay guys, I'm going to tighten this bracket up and at the same time I want to make sure that my linkage is still the same place that it was. Yes it is. And I'm going to tighten this up. Didn't have any torque specs but you don't want to over tighten it. But you want to make sure it's tight, you know. See, that's pretty good there. Okay, guys, next thing, I'm going to put this plastic back on here. Just so we don't forget how anything goes. Wire goes back in there. This wire goes back in here like so. You see you've got the servo bracket there. And then this comes up over top and snaps in there. Okay, got the bracket all installed nice and tight, guys. Now it wants us to take uh, this nut and lock washer off. And you can see <laughs> I put stuff some gloves here because if that nut falls, good luck finding another one. And I really don't know what it's going to do when I take it off. I think we're going to be okay. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Very gingerly. Now it wants us to install this over top of there. Of course, my glove's in the way now, but I'm not taking it out. There we go, until it's done. Okay guys, so the one thing I wasn't crazy about is I couldn't get the lock nut on here because of the the you know thickness of the the bracket so I put a little bit of the blue Loctite on. To me that uh, blue Loctite works good, but in the same boat it's not gonna uh it's not gonna be welded on there like the red stuff, so yeah, that's all we can do in this situation. Uh, okay so that's on you can see how that will control the throttle now I think we mount the servo let's do that next okay guys now that I got the servo mounted which uh, I didn't have the camera rolling I don't know why but it was a tight spot now I'm gonna tighten these Teflon uh, screws and Teflon nuts on. There we go. And mind me, once again, I can't find I can't get a socket on there. And I can't find an eight millimeter wrench. Got all my Imperials, but no metric. So there we go. There we go. Servos mounted, guys. As you can see, I got the servo motor mounted, the bracket. I got the arm here, all that is uh, ready to go. Now, before I make the next step, what it wants me to do is it wants me to hook the module up to the battery. And I think I got to put it in idle, but let's go step by step. Let's hook it all up to the battery and go from there. Okay, guys, I know the camera's kind of crooked, but what it wants me to do now is temporarily hook up the power uh, module to the battery I could have probably moved a couple of steps forward and ran all the wire first and then did this but I'm going right by their instructions I'm trying to make uh, their written instructions uh, into a video so that's the goal here I'm not the best talker in the world. Or actually, I can talk a lot. But, uh, let's see what you guys gain out of it. Okay. So, that's all hooked up. Now, this can go up here. Let's go to the back of the boat again. Okay, guys. So, we are temporarily hooking up the servo. 
so I'm not sure if you can see there's a little three prong wire three prong wire and goes in like oh, oh. yeah see there's a little yellow mark there so I'm assuming that that yellow wire from the instructions and everything goes to there like so yellow wire over to that yellow side of the bracket there we go servos hooked up next step it wants us to hook up the controller so here we go guys now what it wants us to do is power it on. There we go. Now, next thing it wants me to make sure that my tiller handle is in the starting position, which is all the way down, and it is. And then it wants me to hit idle on this. Okay, so it's at idle. You can see it says idle. We're at idle. That step's done. Now it wants me to thread this on. This is an Allen key. Put this down like so. Let's put this in, the screw in, and it says to trim this after and all that, but so now, moment of truth guys, let's see if it works. Oh, we got to go to run, look at that, look at that. Now I should be able to work. See, that still works. See how high that is. See how that works, guys? I'm adjusting it up. Awesome. And do it in one percent increments guys so another thing guys uh it took me exactly two hours and 20 minutes to hook all this up run all the wires so just to give you an idea of the time and, and like i said i was trying to film while i was doing it um yeah the only thing that i wasn't crazy about uh was that one nut that goes on the throttle body there uh, there's you know like the lock washer uh there's there wouldn't be enough thread if you had the lock washer on there so i got lots of thread on it now but i had to use the blue loctite on there uh and just hoping that um that's all good it should be good to go uh but anyways that was the only thing that it's just like there you know if there was just a little bit more thread i could have got that lock washer on but and guys be very careful it's it's so easy to drop a bolt down in the uh, lower unit and, and i don't know what happens then fortunately it didn't happen everything went together good it's all back together and yeah excited to use it cheers big john's out love you all thanks again dad it's an awesome gift uh it's gonna get put to use uh excited to use it cheers big john's out